Time now for the morning rush. We start with Sarah Yingling live at Starbucks near I-40 in Rio Grande. Sarah? One of the nation's most popular coffee chains will close shops early today so that workers can receive racial bias training. Around 8,000 Starbucks locations are expected to close at 2 this afternoon for those training purposes. The decision comes after this situation last month when two black men meeting in a Philadelphia Starbucks were asked to leave and then arrested by police minutes later. Starbucks officials say the first training will focus on understanding racial bias. Each store will receive a toolkit. On to new video for this morning, likely to be used in a case against a now former sheriff's deputy accused of raping a female inmate. He is set to appear in court again next month. Edmund Wallace was with the Lee County Sheriff's Office back in October, transporting the inmate back from court when she, he says that he, she says he forced her to perform oral sex. Wallace says he never solicited anything from the inmate, but that she was dancing and flashing him and that it was her idea. Other new video today shows the moments a man accused of DWI is dragged out of the car for refusing to get out. A state police officer pulled over Dylan Sheehy earlier this month on Highway 550 near Bernalillo after the officer says Sheehy wasn't staying in his lane. Officers say Sheehy refused to get out of his car, saying he wanted to wait until his dad arrived. He then reportedly argued with the officer and then that the ground wasn't flat enough to do a field sobriety test. Kristen? Good morning. Not a whole lot going on today. We've got plenty of sunshine across the state. We'll keep eyes over the northeast this afternoon and again tomorrow for an isolated storm or two. There's not a whole lot working for us, but there's a weak boundary there and just slight amount of moisture that could trigger one or two of these isolated storms Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon. The rest of us staying dry and hot. Crystal? We're going to help firefighters happening right now. Officials investigating the cause of a fire that continues to burn in the Gila National Forest. So far, it's only 14% contained. This all comes as firefighters prepare for another day of fighting fires. The Buzzard Fire has grown to nearly 17,000 acres. Crews say they're making good progress with the fire spreading to only about 200 acres in the last few days. Meanwhile, about 400 structures in the community of Queen are being threatened, all because of the Keller Fire in the Lincoln National Forest. So far, the fire has stayed small at 43 acres, but it's prompted closures and of roads and recreational areas in the Guadalupe Ranger District west of Carlsbad. Officials say lightning sparked that fire last Tuesday. On to news happening today, the Santa Public School Board is expected to decide the fate of a handful of schools. According to the New Mexican, the school board could take action on four district buildings, which include Chaparral, E.J. Martinez, and Nava Elementary Schools, as well as Turquoise Trail Charter Elementary. The district wants to make a decision on the issues so it can give families and employees plenty of notice before a possible change in 2021. New, <clears throat> excuse me, new this morning, we are learning the USDA is recalling more than 228,000 pounds of spam after metal objects were found inside the cans. Minor oral injuries have been reported by four customers. The Food Safety and Inspection Service says the canned chicken and pork to watch out for has a best by date of February 2021. Also this morning, water levels at Elephant Butte are sitting lower than in years past. The lake in New Mexico's largest state park relies largely on snow melt from the San Juan Mountains, which saw a drier season this year, thus leaving the lake levels about 13 feet lower than this time last year. Park officials say they saw about 80,000 visitors to the lake just this past weekend. Kristen. Yeah, definitely a good day to hit the lake again today. We're talking warm temperatures, which is why that Metro Threat Index is only at a one, but we're still in the upper 80s, which is above normal than normal and warmer than yesterday. Do expect that Metro Threat Index to climb as the heat continues to build into the area. David. Happening now with the 4th of July right around the corner, training is likely ramping up for local firefighters. Albuquerque Fire Rescue says summer holidays bring an added element to their already high call volume. Now to prepare, stations train specialty teams in specific skills. Some specialize in wildland fires, others in water rescues. Crews say the systems help the 22 stations be more efficient. Fire crews have been routinely patrolling the Bosque and foothills due to the dry conditions. Today, New Mexico Department of Transportation will be hearing your thoughts on a statewide bicycle network. The NM Bike Plan considers how to put in place a safe bicycle network on state roads and on highways, giving bicyclists a safe and connected way to travel around the state. Today, officials are expected to give an overview of the network, go over region-specific maps, and allow public comment. Kristen.
Time now for a check on your Tuesday morning uh, commute. A lot of us going back to work this morning. The nice thing is there's no major accidents out there, but we're already starting to see congestion. That's I-40 eastbound near the 4th Street exit. Plan on extra time if your commute takes you in that direction. Of course, we also have eyes out on the big eye. Looks pretty good right now. We'll keep tabs on that throughout the morning. And finally, one of my favorite stories of the morning, one teacher learning just how much she's inspired her students after being invited to her former student's college graduation 21 years later. In 1997, Judith, Judith Tone Singh wrote to this note on Christian Gilmore's report card. It says, it has been a joy to have you in class. Keep up the good work. Invite me to your Harvard graduation. Well, last week, Gilmore did just that, returning to her teacher's classroom to invite her to her Harvard graduation. How cool is that? Yeah, big She congrats. knew it. She knew it was going to happen. 6.53 now. Final check on that day planner. We're talking 80s by lunchtime today. Forecast high, 89 degrees. We are warm. We are sunny. We're just fine today here in the metro. But when it comes to the overall setup, there's a weak boundary over the northeast. This could trigger a few spot storms, not only today, but tomorrow as well. But it's only going to be in the northeast. 99% of us can just expect sunny skies, dry conditions, and hot temperatures. So I'll leave you with the allergy report. Again, pine going to be an issue for us. Everything else down to low. And just something to keep in mind, too, smoke. So coming off the buzzard fire might affect us, too. So we're going to keep tabs on that throughout the day. All right, time now for the five facts. That one number five here at the Summer Lunch Program begins in Albuquerque and Rio Rancho today. The program that makes sure low-income school-age ki school kids have food during summer break kicks off today at some area parks. There will also be a site at the Boys and Girls Club in Rio Rancho and in Albuquerque. The Boys and Girls Club will also be serving breakfast. Kids can pick up lunches through August 10th. We did post information for you at alwaysonkrqe.com. And number four, changes could take place in the coming weeks along Paseo del Norte. This comes after complaints from drivers. Wayne Presser and others have expressed frustration about the way the lights are timed between Tramway and I-25 on Paseo. Presser says he's noticed that during busy hours on weekdays, he has to stop at nearly every light. In response, the DOT is taking another look at the stretch to see if it's feasible to improve traffic flow by retiming the lights. NMDOT says any changes that might come out of that traffic study will be made within the next few weeks. At number three, there's no significant storm systems moving into the state over the next several days, so it's really all about the numbers. We're talking heat here in New Mexico. 89 today, 90 is coming to the forecast tomorrow here in Albuquerque. Low to mid 90s Thursday, Friday with more wind and likely to see daily occurrences of the triple digit heat out over the eastern side of the state. Number two now with the 4th of July just around the corner. Training is likely ramping up for local firefighters. Albuquerque Fire Rescue says summer holidays is an added element to their already high call volume with people getting together to repair stations, train specialty teams and specific skills. Some specialize in wildland fires, others in water rescues. Crews say the system helps the 22 stations be more efficient. Fire crews have been routinely patrolling the Bosque due to the dry conditions. Crews are also patrolling other high-risk areas like the foothills. And at number one, one of the nation's most popular coffee chains will not be open for business today, all to give workers racial bias training. Now, this all stems from the controversial arrest of two black men inside a Starbucks shop last month. Around 8,000 Starbucks locations are expected to close at 2 this afternoon, including some here in New Mexico. Starbucks officials say the first training will focus on understanding racial bias and the history of public accommodations in the United States. Starbucks locations like those in grocery stores or hotels are expected to remain open.